Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here and for practicing with me today. Today's class is going to be a strength and stretch vinyasa flow. So we'll be combining strength and flexibility into one fluid and dynamic practice. This is going to be a ladder sequence. So we'll be moving through three rounds of our flow. Each round, we're gonna add on to the sequence and pick up the pace a little bit. This is an energizing practice. We'll be moving through lots of twists and heart openers. Great to do first thing in the morning or any time of day where you just want to boost your energy and feel your best. I won't be using any props for this class, but of course, feel free to have some yoga blocks nearby. Other than that, all you'll need is yourself and your yoga mat. So when you're ready, Meet me on the mat and let's begin. All right, my friends, let's begin in a child's pose at the back of the mat. So knees can be together here or you can spread them a little bit wider if that feels more comfortable for you. Extend the arms straight out in front of you. Resting your forehead onto the mat. Go ahead and close your eyes. And just take a moment to arrive. Begin to notice how you feel. Becoming aware of your physical body. Notice the points of contact with your body to the floor. Feeling your heart beating in your chest. Reminding you that you are alive and well. And as you start to settle in, Start to take deep, intentional breaths in and out through your nose. Finding our ujjayi breath, so slight constriction in the back of the throat, making the breath audible. And with each exhale, can you allow your body to soften a bit more? Relaxing through your shoulders, your arms, your hips, your low back. Take one more deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh the breath out. As you inhale, lift yourself up to a tabletop, coming over to your hands and knees. Wrists in line with the shoulders, knees are in line with your hips. And then we'll move through our cat cow. For cow pose, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Take a breath in. Exhale into cat, round through the spine, tuck the tailbone, draw the chin to the chest. Inhale, cow pose, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, cat, round the spine. So taking a few more rounds on your own. Warming up the spine, connecting with the breath. Good, come back to a neutral spine and we'll meet back in a child's pose. Sit the hips all the way back. Reach your fingertips as close to the top of the mat as you can. As you inhale, shift your weight forward. Let your shoulders come past the wrists. 
Exhale, baby chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, child's pose, sit the hips back. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, baby chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit back. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, baby chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push it back. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, baby chaturanga, lower all the way to the belly. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Press the tops of the feet into the mat and see if you can lift your kneecaps off of the mat. As you inhale, press into the hands, lift the chest for baby cobra. And exhale, lower down. Two more times, inhale, lift, squeeze the shoulder blades together and exhale lower one more time inhale lift exhale lower take the hands out wide come onto the fingertips elbows point up towards the sky inhale press into the fingertips lift the chest exhale dip your right shoulder down as you look to the left so adding a little bit of a twist Opening up the upper back. Good, come back to center, take a breath in. Twist to the right as you breathe out, dip the left shoulder down, look over to the right. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck the toes. Press yourself up to a high plank. So shoulders in line with the wrists. Spread the fingers nice and wide and use your hands to press away from the earth. Draw the navel in towards your spine to engage your core. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, lift the hips for downward facing dog. Pressing the heels down. Think about lifting your tailbone up towards the sky as you relax the crown of your head down. Start to add a little bit of movement here. So bending one knee at a time, pressing the opposite heel closer towards the floor. You can add some movement into the hips, into the shoulders, whatever feels good for you. Good, come back to a neutral downward dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, walk the hands back towards your feet, meeting in a rag doll. Bend your knees, grab a hold of opposite elbows and allow your upper body to hang heavy. Start to sway from side to side. Decompressing the spine. Letting go of any tension in the neck. Good, come back to center, release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift, place your hands to your shins, find a flat back, and fold as you exhale. And again, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog, walk your hands towards the top of the mat. Take a moment to find your center, find your grounding. And then we're gonna move through three rounds of our vinyasas just to get the body warmed up. So when you're ready, inhale, lift your heels, shift forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale, down dog. One more time, inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Moving through our sun A's. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach the arms up. Exhale, place your left hand to your left leg. Reach your right arm over to the left, coming into a side body stretch. Think about pushing your hips over to the right, stretching out right side body. Good, come back to center, take a breath in. Exhale, right hand down your right leg, reach the left arm over to the right. Rolling that left shoulder open, pushing your hips over to the left. Come back to center, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Continuing to move here, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale to rise, reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand down, reach over to the left. Come back to center, inhale. Exhale, right hand down, reach over to the right. Come back to center, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale to rise, reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand down, reach over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, right hand down, reach over to the right. Inhale, back to center. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, take your chaturanga. Up dog as you inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Good, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Good, now bend your knees, sweep the arms up for Utkatasana chair pose. So grounding down through your heels, squeeze the inner thighs together, slightly tuck the tailbone under and engage through your core. Take a big breath in, sit low as you breathe out. One more inhale, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky for three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your right knee, open and stack your hips. So stacking your right hip over your left, try to keep your shoulders square to the top of the mat. Option to add some movement here. You can circle that right ankle around. Maybe you wanna draw some big circles with your right knee. Whatever feels good. Good, come back to three-legged dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, step the right foot forward. Drop the left knee to the floor. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge and stay for the breath out. Pressing firmly into that right foot, squeeze the inner thighs together for stability. Think about tucking the tailbone under 
as you press the hips forward. Take a big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane the arms, lean your chest forward. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, open twist to the right, left arm reaches forward, right arm back. Place your right hand to the back of your left leg. Reach the left arm back. Take a breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down for half splits. Straighten the right leg, flex the right foot. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Pull the right hip back as you send the left hip forward to square out the hips. Think about lifting your tailbone up towards the sky as you reach the crown of your head forward. Take a big breath in, exhale out. Good, bend your right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips. Adding any movement that feels good for you here so you can circle the left ankle around. You can circle the left knee out and around. Good, come back to three-legged dog, take a breath in. Exhale, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge. Stay for the breath out. Pressing evenly through all four corners of that left foot. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Slightly tuck the tailbone under as you push the hips forward. Take a big breath in. Exhale out. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane the arms, lean your chest forward. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, open twist to the left. Right arm forward, left arm back. Place your left hand to the back of your right leg. Reach the right arm back. Take a breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down for half splits. Straighten the left leg, flex the left foot. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Pull the left hip back to square out the hips. Lift the tailbone up as you reach the crown of your head forward. Take a deep inhale here. And exhale out. Bend your left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge. Exhale, plant the hands. Step back to plank. Take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Good, so that is our flow. We're gonna take two more rounds, adding on from here. So inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, open twist to the left. Keep the knees together, hips are square to the top of the mat. Take a big breath in. Twist deeper as you breathe out. Come back to center, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Knees together, hips are square. Big breath in. Twist deeper as you breathe out. Back to center, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back. Take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hips. 
Come back to three-legged dog, inhale. Draw your knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward, drop the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge. Exhale, airplane the arms, lean your chest forward. This time, see if you can lift your left knee off of the mat. So coming into our airplane lunge, rooting down through that right foot, reach your pinky fingers up towards the sky to engage the triceps. Take a big breath in. Exhale out. Reach the left arm forward. Take a breath in. Warrior two, as you breathe out, spin the back heel down, arms extend out to the side. Take a deep bend in that right knee, stacking the shoulders over the hips. Take a big breath in. Sink a bit lower as you breathe out. Inhale, reverse your warrior, reach the right arm back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, lift your left heel. Keep the left hand planted, right arm to the sky, find your twist. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you open through the chest. Take a big breath in. Exhale, drop your left knee to the floor. Circle the right arm back and then down. Sweep the arms up for low lunge, take a breath in. Twist to the right as you breathe out. Right hand to the back of your left leg, reach the left arm back, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, straighten the right leg for half splits. Flexing through that right foot, option to stay here, or you can pick up that back knee coming into pyramid pose. So continue to square out the hips here, pulling that right hip back. Good, bend your right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Second side, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips. Back to three-legged dog, inhale. Draw your knee to your nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge. Exhale, airplane the arms, lean the chest forward, and then pick up that right knee. Really rooting down through that left foot. Keep reaching your pinky fingers up towards the sky. Hold here for a breath. Good, reach the right arm forward, take a breath in. Warrior two as you breathe out. Ground the back heel down, extend the arms to the side. Deep bend in that left knee, stacking the shoulders over the hips. Take a deep breath in. Sink lower as you breathe out. Inhale, reverse, reach the left arm back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, pick up the back heel. Keep the right hand planted, left arm to the sky, find your twist. Rolling that left shoulder open, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop your right knee to the floor. Circle the left arm back and then down. Sweep the arms up for low lunge, take a breath in. Twist to the left as you breathe out. Left hand to the back of your right leg, reach the right arm back, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down for half splits. Straighten the left leg, flex the left foot. Option to stay here or you can pick up the back knee coming into pyramid pose. Keep pulling that left hip back to square out the hips. Good, bend your left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. All right, one more round. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, airplane the arms, lift your heels. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, airplane the arms and lift. One more time, inhale, chair. Exhale, lift. Inhale, back to chair. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips. Take your wild thing. Come on to the outer edge of the left foot. Step the right foot behind you. Reach the right arm back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, drop the hips. Reach the right arm forward. Good. Inhale, lift the hips, reach back. Exhale, drop the hips, reach forward. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right hand down. Pull the right knee in towards the chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward, drop the left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge. Exhale, airplane, lean your chest forward, pick up the back knee. Reach the left arm forward, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, side angle, right forearm to right thigh, left arm sweeps by the ear. Reverse triangle, straighten the right leg, reach the right arm back, take a breath in. Triangle pose as you breathe out. Place your right hand to your right shin, left arm to the sky. Think about stacking the shoulders here. Try not to collapse all of your weight into that right hand. So keep the core nice and engaged here. Bring your torso in line with that front thigh. Take a big breath in, exhale out, good, bend your right knee, inhale reverse, reach back, exhale cartwheel the hands down, pick up the back heel, reach your right arm to the sky, inhale, exhale drop your left knee to the floor, circle the right arm back and then down, inhale sweep the arms up for low lunge, Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand to the back of your left leg, reach the left arm back, take a breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down for half splits. Straighten the right leg, flex the right foot. Again, you can stay here or you can pick up that back knee, finding your pyramid pose. Take a big breath in, big breath out. Bend your right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knees, stack the hips, finding your wild thing. Come on to the outer edge of the right foot, step the left foot behind you, reach the left arm back. Take a big breath in, exhale, drop the hips, reach the left arm forward. Inhale, lift the hips, reach back. Exhale, drop it down, reach forward. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left hand down, left knee comes into the chest. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick it high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. 
Exhale, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, airplane, lean forward, pick up the back knee. Reach the right arm forward, take a breath in. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm by the ear. Reverse triangle, straighten the left leg, reach back, take a breath in. Triangle pose as you breathe out, left hand to your left shin, right arm to the sky. So bringing your torso in line with that front thigh, think about stacking the shoulders here, creating a nice straight line from your hip all the way up into your shoulder. Take a deep breath in, big breath out. Bend your left knee, inhale, reverse, reach back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, lift your right heel. Reach your left arm to the sky, take a breath in. Exhale, drop the right knee. Circle the left arm back and then down. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge. Exhale, twist to the left. Left hand to the back of your right leg, reach the right arm back, take a breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down for half splits. Straighten the left leg, flex the left foot. Staying here or picking up the right knee, coming into pyramid pose. Hold here for a breath. and then bend your left knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Take your chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Holding here for a few more deep breaths. Enjoying this moment of pause. Giving our heart rate a chance to slow down. And then drop your knees down, landing in a child's pose. So untuck the toes. Sit the hips back. Relax the forehead down. And just take a moment to recenter. Coming back to this internal awareness. And then once you're ready, bring the palms of the hands together. Bend your elbows, placing your hands behind your head. So opening up through the triceps, through the shoulders. Think about actively pressing your elbows down as you push your chest closer towards the floor. So really feeling this opening in the upper back. Breathing deeply here. And then release the hands, reach them forward. Come up to a tabletop, this time coming into a puppy pose. So walk the hands forward. Keep the hips lifted as you sink the chest down. Again, think about actively pressing your hands into the floor and then resting the forehead down. So bringing that chest as close to the floor as possible. Breathing space into the upper back. Good. Gently lift your chest up, 
come down onto the forearms, finding our Sphinx pose. So shift your weight forward, drop your belly onto the floor. Bringing the elbows in line with your shoulders, squeeze the shoulder blades together as you push the heart forward. Press your pubic bone down into the floor to lengthen out the lower back. Take a big breath in, big breath out. One more inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up to a tabletop. Take a breath in. Child's pose as you breathe out. Press the hips back, resting the forehead down. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Good, come back to your tabletop. Cross the ankles and come all the way to a seat. Go ahead and scoot your hips forward to give yourself some more space. And then we're gonna come all the way onto our backs. Moving into a supine pigeon, cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Pull the right knee in towards the chest. Thread your left arm through the legs and then interlace your fingers around your right shin. Flex through your feet to protect your knees. And then feel free to close your eyes and just breathe here. Opening up the left hip. Good, lower the right foot back down. Wrap your left leg over your right, coming into eagle legs. Take your arms out wide into a T. Push out of the right foot and just shift your hips over to the left. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, allow both knees to fall over to the right. Coming into a gentle twist. If this is too much for you, you can uncross the legs and just stack the knees. You can keep your gaze up towards the sky or you can look over that left shoulder. With your next breath, gently come back to center. Uncross the legs and we'll switch sides. Cross the left ankle over, or cross the right ankle over your left thigh. Pull the left knee in. Thread your right arm through the legs, interlacing your fingers around your shin. Keep your shoulders and your lower back grounded into the mats. Flex your feet to protect your knees. Good, lower the left foot back down. Wrap your right leg over your left for eagle legs. Take your arms out wide, push out of the left foot and shift your hips over to the right. Take a big breath in and exhale twist. Both knees come over to the left. Again, you can just stack the knees here and uncross the legs. Option to look over that right shoulder. And just breathe into this twist. Feeling that gentle release in the lower back.
and gently come back to center. Uncross the legs, hug both knees in towards the chest and take your happy baby, lifting the soles of the feet up towards the sky, grabbing onto your shins, ankles, or your feet, and then using your hands to press the knees down towards the floor. Keep the low back and your shoulders grounded into the mats. If you'd like to rock side to side, feel free to do that. And then come back to center, release the feet. Hug the knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, drawing the forehead towards your knees. And then releasing into our final resting pose. So you can come into a Shavasana, extending the legs out wide. Or if you'd like, you can do a Supta Baddha Konasana by bringing the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to fall open. Resting your hands wherever they feel most comfortable and close your eyes. And just take this opportunity to completely relax. Allow your body to become heavy. Allow your breath to be soft. Just returning to this internal awareness. Becoming aware of how you feel, not just physically, but also mentally. Allowing this feeling to infuse your entire well being. And you're more than welcome to rest here for as long as you'd like. If you're ready to come out, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then reach the arms up and overhead, draw the knees together, take a big breath in. And exhale, roll over to one side, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed, just 
just allow yourself to stay connected for one more moment. Staying connected to your body, to your heart, to your mind. Becoming aware of any changes in your body from the beginning of your practice. And knowing that you are the one who cultivated this change. And when you're ready, bring the palms of your hands together in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. Taking this opportunity to bow down towards your own heart. Expressing gratitude for yourself, for your practice and for anything else that comes up for you in this moment. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future classes. If you have any recommendations or suggestions for future classes, please leave them in the comments down below and I'd love to make that happen for you. Otherwise, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. May you stay well and always continue to shine.